Hello, this is Russ Developer Notes. I'm Tyler, and today I'll be talking to you about how to get your Rust 2 environment set up for development. In the last video, I explained using a ment lint for clean format. And if you had gone out and tried to do it, you might have been confused. And the reason is, is playing format in a ment lint isn't a released feature yet. And you're like, well, how did you use it? And the thing is, is in Rust 2, and with a lot of development tools, building stuff from source should be normal or okay. And that's, that's what we're gonna do. Um, you want the latest features, you gotta build some of them from source. So you probably installed Debian packages and, and Rust is a development tool. So this is not so weird. All right, you, you probably went through and did this, but we'll go through and do it. Um, so you can see me doing it and uh, you can do it locally. I have a 2004 LXD container uh, that I'm doing this in. So set up your locale, just copy paste this stuff into a terminal. Uh, we need to set up our sources. So I'm gonna start copying and pasting this over the terminal. Uh, we're gonna install basic stuff. It's already installed, so the you don't have to sit here and watch me do and have to install, which it it's for the full Ross to rolling desktop. Oh, that's another thing. Use rolling. There's a lot of bug fix fixes and latest features that's in rolling that you want for development. If you go to release something and you're gonna install this as binaries onto some product that's gonna live forever. Yeah, you can use the long term support, but for development, your default should probably be using rolling. Um, anyway, here's the rolling desktop install. Now, the next thing that's not super obvious, and go back to the browser, is you're gonna develop ROS stuff using ROS, right? Uh, so you need to be able to build stuff, and you need all the same stuff that you would if you were building ROS too. Um, and this is a pretty default or good basic uh, environment setup for uh, or set of packages. So we need to install tools. Back to the terminal, paste this stuff. That'll be pretty fast. Next thing is Python stuff. So this is a little odd, but one thing is, is when you're linting, doing your Python linting, specifically Flake 8, um, what's installed in your Python environment is what te it impacts what tests get run. So if you have issues where like Flake 8 doesn't pass locally and it passes on CI or vice versa, this is the first place I would look is like, make sure that on your CI system locally, you've installed the same Flake 8 packages. So here, yeah, we're gonna copy and paste these to our terminal. Those are installed. And the next thing we're gonna do is these uh, this stuff for the mid various middlewares. All right, so we did that. All right, now the next thing is Rostep. Uh, Rostep is sort of like think of it like apt for Rost packages. It it's a way to where you can it'll scan over your. It's also it, it does dependency resolution for your your source stuff. So it'll scan over your source directory and it'll install. Uh, ROS dependencies that your package XML lists that you need from binaries to be able to build and stuff like that. Um, you need to run this init command. Um, this will set it up for the first time. Oh, uh, I already have it set up. So we need to do ROS dep update. That's the next thing. Um, this is going to download sources from various stuff. Um, just think of this like apt update for Ross. Anyway, you need that. Um, the next thing is, right, we want those, we want that ament lint feature, the ament cling format that's not released yet. How do we get that? Well, I'm going to create a tools workspace. So um, I have a code directory, there's nothing in it, I'm going to make a tools workspace. Um, source directory, all right, let's go find a mintlet. So a mintlet, here's it on GitHub. Copy the URL for it. Clone it. All right, now we want to build. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you about is Colcon Mixin. So Colcon 
is a build tool for Rust. And when you did that, let's go back to the browser. When you did this, one of the things you did is install Python 3 Colcon common extensions. So that installed Colcon and a handful of its common exceptions. Extensions, but one of the extensions it didn't install is Mixin. And Mixin is this awesome tool that allows you to write the shorthand commands to do this do really common stuff. Um, I don't know why it's not installed by default, but you can install it into your environment. Um, the way you do that, back to the terminal, is sudo or not, I'm not gonna do it with apt. It's actually pip three. Uh, pip three install Vulcan. Mixin. All right, I already have it installed, but you got to do that. And then the next step is it's not super obvious. You got to go over here, um, this repository, Colcon Mixin repository. Um, if you just Google for Colcon, it'll be one of the first, or Colcon Mixin, um, one of the first results. This one right here. <clears throat> so, this command, add this. Uh, Mix it and set up so that you could add your own and uh, have a lot of flexibility that way. Uh, but we're going to grab the default ones. The default ones are awesome. So there. Uh, those are two were just copied and pasted out of um, this readme that you can find. Go on, mix in, search for it. This result right here. Yeah. We want these two commands out of the readme. You go. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the terminal. I'll show you what that does. I do Colcon Mixin show. Here are some of the things it does. It's like adding CMake arguments that are just like really long and obnoxious to type out. Some of you may have like aliases to do this, but Mixin, you have Mixin like a built in alias. It's cool and has a lot of good defaults. The first one I want to point out is Ccash. Um, Ccache is a feature that built caches your um, compiler outputs. Uh, it's great. You're going to be rebuilding stuff all the time. You should install Ccache and just use the Ccache mixin. Next one is your build type. So I use release debug info all the time on whatever I'm building so that when I want to debug it, it's I have debug symbols. But uh, for tools that you just build that you, you just want the latest copy, I'd use release. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do Colcon build um, add mix in and then release and ccache. Well, first, before we do ccache, you have to be able you have to install it. Sudo apt install cache. Sorry, install mine, but that's what you have to do to get it. And then you can do Colcon build mix in release cache. All right, um, there's some warnings, but it was because of a fast environment thing I had. Anyway, whatever. Um, so now we have it. Um, the thing is, is so now we can run uh, mint playing format. And this would normally air. Um, it's not going to air for me. It's going to actually run it. Um, and the reason is one other thing you need to do is you need to do apt install playing format, the actual tool. I already have installed, but you need to do that before you can run it. Um, then when you run it, it'll give you output like this, and now you have the tool. Um, one more thing. Uh, you want to add to your uh, 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 script setup, your RC script. Um, sourcing the ROS install and sourcing these tools directory. So you just have it all the time. So how you do that is uh, add this to the bottom. Uh, in my case, I use ZSH. Um, if you use Bash, it's very similar. Uh, opt, ROS, rolling, um, add up dot H. And I'm gonna also source my tools. One, home, Ubuntu. Tools, install. Uh, I like to do local setup. Anyway, and we'll test that that works. We'll start a new terminal. So 
page. Um, command playing format. All right, there it is. Yep, now we have it. Now you're all set up. So you go watch the other video and use uh, amend clang format, format your C++ code, develop with Rust 2. You have all the uh, right stuff installed. Thank you. Uh, if this is raised, your Rust IQ. Uh, have a great day.